Hello, everybody. So today we're gonna take a virtual trip to one of my favorite cities, New Orleans, um, or NOLA, or the Big Easy, or all the other names it's known by, the Crescent City. Um, and specifically, I'm gonna walk you through um, doodling intricate uh, cast iron work that is seen throughout the city of New Orleans, as well as many other cities um, in the South and around the world. Um, so I wanted to have fun with you guys and show you some fun doodling exercises. Um, so uh, to improve your drawings of buildings you might see when you're traveling. So if you can look really closely at this photo, I'll tell you a little bit more about this place. Ironwork can be really intricate and um, sometimes it can be overwhelming. You could spend hours trying to get it exact. I like to take an approach that's much more fun, much more playful, that gives the um, feeling of the detail work in the ironwork, but maybe it's not exactly true to what is um, in front of us. So let's begin. Um, first for supplies, I have a little my little um, moleskin watercolor book. So I'm working small so we can just have fun doodling. I've got um, my water brush and I've got my microns and I'm gonna maybe use 05 just to draw the building but really to get this iron work I'm going with the smaller ones 01, 02, 03 because again I'm working so small. And then at the end, I will put some um, color to it, but I'm gonna just really be loose with the color, just splashes of color. Um, so just to add some personality, but I really wanna focus more on the details. So what is this house or where is it? This is, the house is called the Morris Israel House. It's in the Garden District of New Orleans. Um, it was built in the 1860s for a man named Joseph Morris. And the style is called Italianate architecture. And it is definitely one of the houses known for its um, cast iron work, its detailed cast iron work. And what it was sort of nicknamed or called um, was iron lace, which I love. Um, so the Morris... Uh, the Morris family lived in this house for many, uh, many decades. And um, uh, finally, it was um, had then had several different people who lived in it. And finally, in the late 1960s, um, a man named Samuel, Samuel Israel uh, bought the house with his wife. And they, um, it, it was in need of a lot of renovations. So they um, started doing renovations. And this is where the New Orleans intrigue comes. They pulled up some, uh, first they found a secret room and then they pulled up some of the floorboards that they had to redo and they found human bones. Um, and apparently the bones were in such a way that it, it indicated it had been from a, a voodoo ritual. So many also say the house is haunted. So um, it was on a lot of haunted tours in New Orleans, which is very popular, but um, uh, Samuel's wife, who outlived Samuel, died in 2015 at 102. And um, just recently, in September 2020, the house was sold um, privately for $3.3 million. So we will see what becomes of the house, but um, this is the house we're going to draw. So I printed this out on the internet. Um, and just to give me a reference, I'm going to be very loose. I'm not going to get the perspective. I'm not going to get the details um, from this, uh, but I'm just getting the overall size and look of how the ironwork is laid out. So I'm going to put this aside. You won't be able to see it, but why don't you go on the internet and get yourself um, an image of it so you can see what you're drawing. And let's get drawing. So I will start with just the basic shape of the house. Um, and then we'll get the ironwork. So I'm gonna have my 05, and I usually start with the roof. I don't like this pen because it seems to not want to flow well, and I am definitely someone who wants my pens to flow. So again, I'm not really going exactly to the architecture, I'm just 
making some layers. That's the roof. Then it has these decorative elements. And then we've got the first balcony on the second floor where some of this ironwork stays. So I'm going to draw that, bring the house down. And then this is, um, we're, again, we're not going to do perspective. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to bring the first floor down. We're going to make the balcony second floor. Bring that down. The porch. The stairs. The steps. So there we have our basic shape of the house. Um, really simple, two stories. We got the, the overhang of the top porch that's holding the um, ironwork. We've got the balcony and then we've got the um, porch. So now let's have some fun. So um, I think that since it's called iron lace, Inherently, I think that means that you can see through it. So I am going to put the windows and doors really simply, and then um, uh, then we will draw the ironwork. So let's just, um, there's got this simple, long, and they've got shutters and I'm gonna open them. And then the door has this nice, again, it's really not to scale. We're just trying to have a really fun, loose drawing of it. Of course, you got the lantern coming down in front of the door. You got the window above the door. And a very simple window. Well, I guess I wouldn't say simple, very decorative. Um, and then on the top floor, we have three a um, little wider windows. And again, with those shutters that are also very New Orleans style. Again, the focus of this exercise is the ironwork, so I don't want to get too much detail in my um, windows and the background of the house because I really want this to be more about the iron lace. But now we at least have some windows um, and the shutters. And now is the fun part. We're gonna, I forgot about the chimneys. Let's just add those so that it's, it's a pretty classic house. Um, and now let's focus on the ironwork now that I've got this all in place. So I'm going to switch to, I'm going to go with my O2, and if it seems a little too heavy, I think I'll use it for the um, um, poles, and then if it seems a little too heavy, I'll go with the O1. But let's get a little closer to the artwork so you can see what I'm doing, because this is going to be our um, more details. Okay, so it looks like there's... Um, we're just gonna start drawing. So there's the edges. So let's get the edges of these. Um, and then there's um, two poles coming down. Two poles. And although you can see through it, 
um, these poles, that's okay. I will, um, when I do add my really loose color, I will um, lighten it up uh, or put some darker lines so it does feel like it's behind it. Look at the poles on the end. Carry these poles down to the first floor. And now the fun iron work. So these are have these arches. So I'm just gonna put these basic shapes. And then I'm just gonna start um, doodling. So these are the basic outlines of where the ironwork is. So now I'm gonna start doodling. So they've got like some lines. And this is where you can just kind of be really playful. Um, circles and marks don't even really make sense. But again, we're just trying to give the illusion that it's very detailed and complicated. Maybe we get these little circle marks. And then this is where all the ornate, so I'm just making literally squiggle lines. And maybe I want it to get feel a little more, less rigid on the outside of this even so I'm going to loosen up this line with some dots and dashes and squiggles. Again, I'm working so small that um, it's okay to have this sort of squiggly-ness. And now at the top here are these squiggles. This has even got this beautiful detail at the top of the Really, they're like dots and dashes. I just want it to feel really loose and playful and squiggly. There's also a balcony here, a railing. So I'm gonna add the railing. Now this has sort of these um, long, oblong shapes, but then there's also little details in that, so I'm just gonna dots and dashes, so really squiggly. And then the porch is also on the bottom. So I want to show you how you can have this really incredibly ornate house that's so um, beautiful and a little intimidating to draw, but really with just little squiggle marks and dots and dashes, we've, I'm adding a little details to the poles that come down. We've given um, it a lot of personality of the, the ornateness and the flair that is on this building. So as you can see, it's very simple, um, dots and dashes. Now I'll just add a couple more details to the background. We're gonna add some the wood to the shutters. And there is this like, we gotta add this window down here in the basement because 
the place is haunted, so there's actually two windows down in the basement. So you might see a ghost down there. And then maybe some squiggly foliage, however you want to add. So that is what I'm going to do. All I'm going to do for it, I'll write the name of the house on it so I remember where I am. The Morris Israel House, Garden District, in New Orleans. Okay, I'm now going to do just a really quick paint, um, and I will fast forward it for you to watch. But that was super fun to do um, this very, very intricate ironwork, but in a very doodle-like form. I hope you had fun following along. And look forward to seeing yours. Be sure to tag me and show me your uh, Morris Israel Garden District home. <laughs>